I'm sure lots of you guys have seen this little uh, fellow here. He's a uh, navigational compass. Uh, typically what we'll use those for is line up the little N with the, uh, with the needle and that'll tell us uh, which way is north. And also be able to use these uh, folks down here, the little uh, markings, to tell us uh, what heading we're going on. So if we line it up with a map, we can uh, figure out where we're going. However, all that a compass really does is point what direction the magnetic field is, is uh, pointing right now. So let's bring a magnet into this. And so you can see, here I'll put it that way. Uh, typically these guys are colored so that the um, red end is the north magnetic pole and the blue end is the south magnetic pole. Um, now watch what happens to my compass when I put it nearby it. Alright, so you can see that when my compass is here, it's pointing in this direction. If I move the compass a little bit further this way, you can see it's now pointing in that direction. over here it's pointing away so it seems to point away from the red in fact even if I go out front you can just barely see that in the frame I'll try and pull that in when I go out front it points straight forward over here points uh, away and then as I move it across you can see it's starting to turn and follow that magnetic field now you can actually uh, use that to start drawing the magnetic field. You can actually do this on a sheet of paper and just draw an arrow that shows where the compass is, um, which way it's pointing, and see if you can actually get a magnetic field diagram that shows the field around that magnet. You can also use iron filings to uh, show the magnetic field. Um, and they will, if, uh, if you use iron filings, they will uh, line up to those same lines, or should, to those same lines we just drew, although it won't give you an arrow.